Welcome everybody to yet another beautiful video. And today I will be continuing the topic of Japanese Americano while featuring a designer. Today we are going to talk about Takashi Maya, or as I'll call him from for the rest of the video, Maya. So basically, Maya started off as a very young man in Japan whose father was in some controversial things. I do not know too much about his mother, but overall he grew up in a very rugged environment with dropping out of high school, seeing no use for it, getting into fights and conflicts with gangs within Japan. Of course, later on, he started to realize clothing. And luckily this got him all away from this. He would constantly visit this one store in Japan and he would go in every day without being able to afford the clothes. Yet he would still go in and look at it and admire the Japanese Americano style. So after going many, many times, the head of the store realized him and said, you're hired right away. We want you working here. We can see your passion for this clothing. And he started working there. After a while, he started his own collection, which is our number nine, which we love and know. Number nine would take a lot, and I mean a lot, of American punk and even Japanese punk from all of what he was dealing with and mix it all together to create these beautiful punk collections. But this is not the collection or the brand that I'm talking about today. Later on in 2009, he would leave number nine and start The Soloist. Now The Soloist was huge because it was this take of Yama's love of American music and Western fashion and he was really able to put it all together to create this brand. Basically what he ended up doing is he would take music icons from America or just the idea of westernization in total and western clothing in total and create these collections and he would always take a different musician for each collection. The collection I'd like to talk about today though is the Spring Summer 2017 David Bowie collection. Now this collection is huge because David Bowie was so big in America but and the whole world but not only that but his fashion was so beautiful for the 80s and really Yama captured this in a whole and created his collection. The collection features many different things such as that I've talked about before in my previous Americana video with the Skolos masks from hats. But most importantly, one item that has always caught my eye is this shirt. Now the shirt that I am wearing right now is the shirt, if you have not noticed yet. And it is basically this shirt which is almost like a dress shirt, yet it is set up in the way that it weaves over. And it gives off such this beautiful and rugged look. And you can really see the inspiration behind David Bowie in this. I will try to find a picture that will show what I'm talking about. But in general, it just showed this love for Western music and that's why I would classify it under Japanese Americano because Takashi started off with number nine as I said and he would put hints of his Americano love in there but really what it came to was his final project which is The Soloist and it's amazing. I will show you a video real quick of what the shirt looks like on. It's really nice because the versatility of it is so unique compared to other shirts. Yes, you can tuck a dress shirt in, but it doesn't get the same effect tucked in as this shirt does. And yes, you can leave it out, but this gives an even more intriguing effect to it. And you just wonder, like, wow, what is that shirt? Even down to the holes here and here, unfortunately. But the ones here are really cool, I feel. So 
So yeah, just a quick overview of the soloist and his love for Americana, Americano fashion and why I really think it fits into this standard that, you know, I really appreciate recently as I said. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing day.